if you want wealth, be wealth. Talk it, think it, and prepare yourself to have it. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life Podcast. I am so excited to come and share this week's message with you. And I know that I say that every single week because the gratitude that I have that we're able to connect on all these different platforms is immense. But after pulling the charts and after shuffling the cards, this week is going to be a game changer, a life changer for a lot of people a vast amount of people. And what I can see is that this change, these positive changes are going to be exceptionally good for the regular schmegular person like you, me, or whoever else is probably listening to this podcast right now. The way that the charts are positioned, they favor the average Joe. They favor those who kind of live paycheck to paycheck, or they favor those who are building wealth and securing wealth for themselves and also generationally. What it doesn't favor are those people who have been locked in positions of power and wealth over time, like long lasting, trickling um, resources and money available to them, not just in this lifetime, but their grandparents, great grandparents, et cetera, et cetera. And I'll explain it a little bit more for you guys. Obviously, that's why we're all here. But first and foremost, I want to go ahead and invite you to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and to check out Bahati Life blog. So you can find me on all my socials at, at Bahati Life. And you can check out Bahati Life blog and the apothecary, pretty much the beehive of all of my activity over at BahatiLife.com. There you'll be able to find access to loads of blogs, information and resources in order to help you to plan and predict the events in your own life. You'll be able to browse and shop intention oils, energy bath soaks, herbs and fixed candles that would help you to set your own intentions in your own life. I believe that the divine has given us tools to help us to navigate through our lives. It's up to us to set the intention to work our magic and do the work to help us to manifest the highest and greatest vision for our lives. BahatiLife.com is your source for all of that. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into these charts. All right, so first things first, Sun and Mercury are going to meet up with Venus and Uranus in the sign of Taurus. Now, this is where I've been talking to my tribe, my community, and my astrology lovers on Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube to pay attention to. Not just this year, you guys. This is not just this year I've been talking about this. This has been the years to come. Why? Because when Uranus moved into the sign of Taurus, this is when we started to see the breakdown, the further breakdown and revelation and revolution on how we're able to make money and how we're able to promote positive change and abundance and growth in our resources, our investments, the things that is most valuable to us. In addition to that, how we take care of the earth. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, I was almost tempted to put the week ahead podcast so what we're talking about right now off to the side so that I could focus on getting this message across about how much money you could make starting this week and in this week alone it is that serious mark my words you guys we're going to start seeing millionaires and billionaires from the average Joe does that make sense this is normal everyday people tapping into incredible sources of wealth and abundance that is going to be beneficial to not just them, but the generations to come. Now, if you remember, this is not the first time that I've been talking about this. Oh, no. No, no, no. Pluto and Saturn have been topics of conversation, at least for me, for years. In fact, if you go back to my YouTube channel, almost every single week you'll hear me say, I feel like a broken record. I feel like a broken record because I kept repeating the same message. Keep your eyes on Saturn, Pluto, and Uranus. Not only did we see them break down government, politics, business, establishment, organized religion, but they were simultaneously creating the fodder, the compost, the soil for a new firm stable foundation for again the average joe for the regular schmegular people like you and i now when i say regular schmegular i don't mean that we are lacking in magic lacking in intention lacking in potential or that we haven't already achieved that i'm just saying that the odds are switching in our favor 
and they're switching quickly and we are in the middle of it right now. What has happened is that businesses, money, resources, wealth, and the rules that we would normally be kind of tied to twisted up and become completely topsy-turvy. I was advising you guys from the jump to stay open, to stay flexible, and to flow with this and to not panic. If you were able to do that, you would be able to swim across into the waters that we're in right now. And this is where we see a door swing open when it comes to stocks, money, real estate, investments, creative outlets, and small business activity that is going to be like a rocket to shoot you into tremendous potential of wealth and security. Now, Taurus, a sign that these planets, the personal planets, Sun, Mercury, Venus, are resting in right now, rules the second house. It's the second house of our values, our money, our ability to earn our coin and our paper, not just to work for it, but to gain access to it and to secure it for ourselves. This energy is very stubborn. It doesn't like change. However, sometimes change is good. And if you can hang on in there, you're going to see a tremendous upswing. And where this upswing is going to come from is, again, power from the people. Looking at the chart, we have Saturn sitting in Aquarius. Aquarius rules the internet. We have Pluto sitting in Capricorn. Capricorn rules our business, our commitments, our contractual agreements. We have Mars doing the very most. And I've been saying this all the last three and a half weeks. Mars is sitting in the sign of Gemini, ruling communication, word of mouth, gossip. And the North Node, where we are destined to strive, where we are destined to, to focus our attention, is also sitting in the sign of Gemini. Gemini says that you don't need to be a master in all of this in order to gain the most from it. If you are open, willing to have a conversation, conversation to listen to the murmurings of the planet, to listen of the murmurings of the people, you will be able to gain access into this if you are willing to invest, if you're willing to secure. Looking at the chart, the part of fortune is sitting in the sign of Leo. Leo rules creative pursuits. It rules the heart. It also rules speculative activities and also creative outlets. Putting all of that together, what do we have here? We see a, an, an immense shift and a swing when it comes to money, finances, and the stock market. As an astrologer, I love to look at the personal planets. This is the Sun, Mercury, Venus, the Moon, and Mars. Why? Because this shows me where our energy is going to be felt the strongest and the most intimate quickly. This week, again on the 19th, which is a Monday, this is how we're starting our week. Sun and Mercury can join together. And when these two planets come together, their energy merges and harmonizes in such a powerful way. This means that the best attributes and characteristics of these two planets are in perfect perfect alignment and these two planets are walking in together into the sign of Taurus, the sign that rules values, money, and our earning ability. Now Venus is already here and so is Uranus. Venus has been pushing a lot of us into spending our money in ways that almost feels like a luxury. It almost feels taboo but it, it feels really good. As your astrologer, the best advice that I want to give to you is to make sure that where you are putting your money is something that is going to triple in value, even if it's expensive or even if it feels speculative. Now, I keep saying that, but at the time of me talking to you guys about this, I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but Doge. This is a perfect example of the energy of the planets currently. If you haven't heard, and I'm saying this from a very minimal knowledge, but Doge is a cryptocurrency type of situation where average, everyday Joe Schmoes, regular Schmegulas, like you and I have turned and invested in what was originally a joke. They were taking the meme of the dog giving us all the side eye and turned it into a stock. They started investing into it and using the internet Twitter in order to spread the word and increase the worth and the value of this stock. Now, that sounds exactly what it was that I've been saying all of this time. And from what I can see by looking at these charts, they are right on the money. And they are working with these planets in a way that is going to be beneficial and profitable and has a very high return. It is also not lost on me that as Sun, Mercury, Venus, and Uranus are moving through the sign of Taurus, Taurus is represented by the bull. The bull itself represents the stock market.
the symbolism of the bull and the significance of the bull found not only in the astrology charts, but also the esoteric symbolism that it represents in the tarot is something that I talk a lot about, a lot about in my Sacred Circle Tarot School. I could spend a whole day talking about the magic and the symbolic representation of the bull and its fixed energy and its ability to bring wealth and its connection to the astrology chart and how it all, it's not coincidental. This is why millionaires and billionaires are able to secure their wealth and their resources. I believe because they understand where true wealth and resources lie, which has been a secret and hidden away from, again, regular schmegulars, just Joe Schmoes. This is hidden knowledge that is, like they say, hidden in plain sight, but kept away from the masses. But again, things are being uprooted. Things are being caught in the middle of a massive revelation, a massive revolution, and power goes back to the people. Because of the placement of the planets now, I am absolutely inspired to talk about how my tribe, my community can be made into millionaires and billionaires yes, that serious overnight. In fact, I'm really thinking that that's going to be my next podcast. So you guys will have to let me know. I think the value of that podcast is going to be immense and something that we all should hear, something that we all should discuss and something that we all should capitalize in on. But anyways, let's go back to talking about the energy of this week. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing eyes on the stock market, eyes on wealth, eyes on the resources. Not only is it stocks, I'm seeing it in creative outlets and you creating your own businesses and business structure. Chiron is still transiting Aries and Aries wants to focus all of the attention on you, on how you define yourself, on being confident and self-assured enough in order to invest in yourself. Many of you guys have already done that after listening to the podcast from the week before or, or Bahati Life YouTube channel. However, it's not too late. Investing in yourself is the true prize because all of the money, the time, the attention, the energy, the resources, is going into you. Of course, you want the best for yourself. Of course, you want to see you win. So I'm not surprised to hear that you're launching your businesses. I'm not surprised to see that you're stepping outside of your comfort zones and doing things differently, prioritizing yourself, prioritizing your intention, prioritizing your intuition. This is not a sit and fall back astrological placements. We don't, we're not, we don't have that luxury really to sit back and wait. We have to be very active in advocating for ourselves and watching the markets and listening to what other people are saying, picking up on those tips and doing something with them. Another thing that's standing out to me is the real estate market. We're going to see incredible upswings and dips in this as well. But again, this is another conversation that I want to talk to you guys about in making you millionaires and billionaires overnight. The part of fortune, again, is sitting in the sign of Leo. There's a beautiful beam, a trine coming from Chiron, also sitting in the sign of Aries and we have another beam a square coming from Venus and Uranus this shows me that we want to watch observe our money our values how we invest what we are investing in something that I want to warn you guys about is the square that's going to be occurring with Venus and Saturn on the 25th the conjunction of Mercury with Uranus on the 24th and the conjunction of Venus and Uranus on the 22nd. Oh, and I almost forgot the 25th Mercury squaring Saturn. Those few days are going to be a little bit tough for some people because this is when you might see a dip, a plummet. You'll feel like you lost an investment. You feel like you lost love. You feel like you lost something of of value and worth to you. However, Taurus is stubborn. It resists change. It holds on. It's fixed. It locks itself in and says, don't move. Taurus is earth. It's about investments. It wants longevity. It wants luxury. So if you can trust your intuition and trust the vibe of these planets, holding on just a little bit longer past this dip, this plummet in your finances, your paycheck, your resources, your investments is going to pay off. Now I'm saying all of this 
And I want to tell you guys that this is a very specific message for a general audience. At the end of the day, your priority should be in listening to your own intuition, your own inner guidance, because that is your compass that the divine and my belief has given you to help you to navigate the highs and the lows of this life. Listening to your intuition is going to help you to maximize your potential, to maximize your growth, and to give you a sense of peace that only you can give yourself. So this means that regardless of what I'm pulling within my charts and what I'm sharing with you in my messages or what the world is telling you at the end of the day, it's so important for you to prioritize yourself, Chiron and Aries, listen to your vibes and follow that first and foremost. While I'm saying that though, Leo does rule speculative activities. It rules the energy of the heart. It rules the gamble. It rules the ability to be playful and to have fun and to enjoy your life, this moment, this experience. And when we put all of the pieces of this puzzle together, this is pointing a big finger at creative outlets, the stock market, real estate, investment, properties, small business, luxury goods, consignment, matters of the earth, written word, communication, using the internet, Twitter, gossip, in order to make and maintain tremendous worth and power. Now I know I spent a lot of time talking about your money, your finances, the stock market, but for some of you guys, this is not going to be your priority. You may be planning weddings, you may be buying cars, you might be traveling or, or pursuing relationships and love. Those things are all beneficial and profitable at this time as well. I want you to take the message that I'm saying and what I've said and replace the money, the values, the resources with whatever it is that you are prioritizing right now at this point in your life. Keep in mind that we're working with energy and energy will always find a way to express itself and to reveal itself. And it helps to pull your natal chart, your astrology chart in order to see where these planets are gathered in order to give you greater vision into what you can expect, hope for, build on, and manifest. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure that you do follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at Bahati Life. And if you're looking for me, you can find me at BahatiLife.com. That's the home base. That's the beehive of where you'll find all of what it is that I'm doing currently and the tools, the magic to help you manifest. Make sure that you do share your feedback, your confirmations, your revelations, and tell testimonials into how this week is working out for you. I want to hear it. I want to see it, but it also helps me to continue on in my lifelong study in astrology, timing that I'm known and I'm loved for. (laughs) I'm sending you guys all of my love. Be blessed. Bye.